So this Thursday and Friday, I was away. You might have noticed Thursday there wasn't a short, and I'll touch on that in a second. But on the way back, we passed Stratford, which can only mean one thing, at least to me, and that is Lego Store Hall. So I went in and actually doubled up on my build a minifigure order. I had some points that I could redeem, so I basically got three minifigures for absolutely free, no extra cost. I think it turns out they've upped the price from £6 to £7 now. £5 off, £2 for three minifigures is an absolute steal, especially because one of the new torsos is selling for quite a bit of money on Bricklink, at least if you can find a store that has a few other bits in stock. I was looking at that torso, the old torso we missed out last time, and one of the birthday celebrations, two of which I actually got in this haul, so let's get straight into what I picked up. And I think that's where these cardboard boxes that LEGO have got, this is now my second one, definitely shine. The dimensions aren't perfect for storing LEGO, and that is definitely something I'd like to see revised in the future. But I've got all six minifigures in this one box. I expect to have some sort of glow coming out when I'm opening these boxes. All six fit in the one box, and I think we'll go over the torso that I was most excited to pick up, and that is i think it's mr oz from the dreams line actually that has this underneath his jacket in the second series of dreams i watched the first series and really like the show i've got to watch the second one i am falling behind on all these children animation shows i don't know how i kept up when i watched the clone wars on top of school and everything else at the time but there were a load of dark blue elements in the build a minifigure station such as the dark blue toolbox which i do believe is an older piece the dark blue legs which are an older piece as well because the new ones have a brown belt printed on them of course we've got that classic space tour so we'll be taking a look at all the other colors in just a second and most recently for the last update with all the space minifigures that helmet this is as casual a face as i could find i will be replacing this with one of the classic mini figure heads. But right now, as of recording this video, we do not have a classic space mini figure helmet or air tanks in dark blue. The closest we've got is black, which I've seen a few people using. I have a spare purple one that I could put on for the air tanks at least, just until they release a dark blue. And I say about Lego releasing a dark blue because this year we got a, I think it was green and purple helmet and air tanks the helmet and air tanks the helmet was in a lunar new year set i think that was even at the start of last year or this year it was one of the lunar new year sets the air tanks were in a stunt set the green helmet which we were missing from the classic space line because they came with the motorcycle helmets rather than the space helmets was in one of the bigger ninjago sets so i'll have to get my hands on a green one at some point likewise I don't have the grey one which came in a CMF underneath a rocket that many people aren't aware about. That's light bluish grey. There was also a black one which is classic though it did come out in a 2015 I think Toys R Us promo. So again these aren't impossible to get your hands on. You just got to know where to look for them. But I have quite a few colours in my collection already. And I know this is all about what I picked up at the Lego store but take a look at that. We got red, orange, yellow, white, blue, pink, purple, and brown, which is about two thirds of the collection. This is eight, and I think there's about 12. Actually, I think there's 13 now, if we include dark blue. Anyway, I'll have the correct number and the colors I'm missing at the top of the screen. And the best part about this display is that if I take off the pink space baby and the blue space baby, we can have the other astronauts holding those minifigures. There is perfect space for the dark blue astronaut but looking at those hands there's something we got to do first and for that we'll be using this arctic explorer from one of the cheaper sets i got this year now that definitely looks better now that the dark blue has got the correct um colors or the hand colors i guess it was really nice i was able to find the legs as well without the printing on because like i said they are an older piece but i think the next color i've got to go for has to be green and you may recall my last build a minifigure haul where we picked up these space themed minifigures and i have used an old plastic case for them i do believe you can't 
reuse these in store. I guess there's nothing stopping you putting minifigures in here. I don't know if they're allowed to give out the minifigures without the box. You might just have to take a box anyway. But I do like these for display and have a whole row of them above my doorway as we walk in it does look really cool i've got one for halloween one for christmas one for space and then one with i think two brick costume minifigures and i always forget about the third one but whilst we did manage to get one complete minifigure in fact i can throw up some images from the last video this middle space man is a little more complete than he was in that video because i've actually taken the chest piece from this orange space suit minifigure from the mech you can't really see the torso at all i guess you notice the corner of the torso is missing its printing but for the most part the torso is hidden so i've taken that and instead equipped it on to this minifigure because the bottom half of the torso is visible but we're still missing not only the torso of the alien but the legs of the middle man so i've got this mashup of a minifigure and taking a closer look you can see i've got the torso for the alien the legs for the other astronaut and the head and hair this hair piece is really really cool by the way you can take it off and he does still have a really big tash underneath dual sided face print on the head which is true for most of the minifigures and this side looks like he is sleeping which i think is a common theme across all of the dreams minifigures if i'm not mistaken and i had to go with a really cool butterfly which i don't think i have this one i have a black one with blue print in and i think i own another one i think there was one in the animal crossing sets so it's really cool to get this butterfly and i'm sure i probably would have shown you all the others on screen there are a few new pieces for halloween this pitchfork is not new and neither is the hat i couldn't find the actual hat that goes with this witch like minifigure but i have got the torso legs and the head i was i'm in an iron about using that alien headpiece as well but i think this hat just works so well with the pitchfork rather than a witch it looks like a witch-like scarecrow, which I quite like and will be adding to my Halloween collection. It's not the only one because there was a few different torsos which look really cool. First off, we have this minifigure who I've given this cello because it's the closest thing to a violin that I have. And I did use to play the violin, but look at that torso with a skull in the middle, the flames on the eyes and just the burning around it's really cool and because of the orange hand there wasn't an orange head to go with it but i've used the orange mohawk which i think is an older piece as well quite a few of these have been sticking around for a while which is nice to see on the stratford bam station because it always seems to have the best pick a brick pieces and to see some of the older parts sticking around it's always nice when you're trying to create custom minifigures rather than just having the new pieces though that being said i think the reason that lego have slowly stepped away from this plastic packaging isn't just the environmental because they could just replace this with paper still have the free pockets and perhaps have a little film on the front but is rather because they're releasing more than three minifigures every quarter now last year i think for christmas we still got the free minifigures so i could be disproven and perhaps we go back to free minifigures at some point soon but I think right now there are a total of 10. I had a little look before recording this on Jay's Brick blog, which is really the one place to go if you want to know what parts are new on the build a mini figure wall. Usually they can cover near enough all of the parts. And it's where I look to see if I need to go visit a Lego store anytime soon or keep an eye out on Bricklink. And when you get in 10 minifigures, 8 minifigures in a wave, we've got Ninjago themed, we've got Space themed, we've got Dreams themed. So it makes sense they're releasing a load more minifigures. These tubs aren't going to be the best way to store those figures. Like I said, we've got 6 minifigures in that box. I'm pretty sure before I've tested this out how many figures we can fit. And I think you can fit near enough 15 minifigures in that box with their accessories and any of the bulkier parts i guess you couldn't fit 15 witches because of they are almost twice as wide as a regular minifigure but regular minifigures you can fit 
five of these and that's going to save you so much space especially when you're coming home from the lego store well i said i picked up six you've seen like three or four minifigures i think this one is really really cool this is a skeleton tracksuit it looks like there's some skeleton bottoms here and also a skeleton hoodie which you could pair with a skeleton skull to make a halloween costume I have gone with a different colored mohawk in this purple piece and I believe this is another one of those dreams heads because if we flip it around you can see the minifigure is sleeping and the face is just thin enough to be mostly covered by the mohawk on the back which I think is pretty cool considering how thin this element is it's really cool it is a TPU-esque piece, a rubber piece, so I could probably end up printing this purple piece if I did need more. And I had to go with the chainsaw. There'll be a short out at the same time of this video and it's very fitting with what we were coming back from. And I think now is a great time to mention about the shorts because you'll notice that Thursday didn't have a short. In fact, I'm only really scheduling shorts for Monday, Wednesday and Friday, even though there was a short alongside this video of a little adventure that me and my fiance went on don't expect them every saturday as well i'm keeping them monday wednesday friday and they are about to get a bit longer if you are keeping into the know with youtube things you'll know that shorts are about to get longer you can make up to three minute shorts which means i'll be getting a load more custom minifigures in a weekly short which is really really nice for me and it also means that rather than making a load of these longer shorts and jamming so much content into them i can actually put that time that i save from making other shorts on other days into the videos and focus on keeping the quality of them up on the channel so shorts aren't exactly going to be reducing i'm going to go from seven minutes of shorts a week to nine minutes but they're only going to be uploaded on three days hopefully that gets easier to understand as we go forward and really there's no telling what is next so i will try to keep you updated in the community post make sure you are following along and i hope you're enjoying all the shorts but let's take a look at the final minifigure and then we can get on to some other things so the final minifigure is a complete mashup of so many pieces we've got this clown head which i really like the blue afro of We've then got this whip as the accessory because it's a cool piece that I don't think I own any of these style of whips, not these round ones, and they are cool to own. We've got another set of grey legs, which I will be using. I think one of the other minifigures had grey door moulded legs as well. This one here, which I will be swapping out for grey legs on some of my other minifigures. And this torso is probably the best piece of this figure because it's actually a store worker, not just any store worker, but a Lego store worker. So, you know, this is going straight into my Lego city when we update the Lego store. And I'll probably switch out the head and give this to another minifigure. But these are all really cool parts to have picked up. In fact, that is exactly why I picked up six minifigures instead of just free because i really wanted to pick up some of these parts and i just couldn't choose between which three were my favorite so i decided to pick up all of them so i've got the dark blue spaceman we also have a few new halloween minifigures to go with my others from the last two years we've got the dual molded legs and yes rampart did get some from the last minifigure haul the last builder minifigure haul but I don't know where I used them for. I must have taken them for another minifigure. And I was also able to complete my three minifigures from four months ago. But what else could there be? Well, if you know me and you've seen one of my previous Lego hauls, I'm a big fan of the stamps that you can get in your Lego passport, which is this thing just here. And because it was a spontaneous trip to the Lego store, I'm very protective of this passport. There is a lot of stamps most of the London ones, not all of them, I don't have the airports in here, and I didn't actually have it on me. So instead, I actually stamped one of these Fortnite leaflets, which if you aren't aware, in all of the LEGO Fortnite sets, you get a code for a special pack to use on the game. That does sound pretty cool, but I think it's the same code for all of the sets, so you only actually need to pick up one. And I stamped all four stamps 
from the Westfield Stratford store. I'll put a scan of them up on the screen so that I don't need to keep my hand too still, but I was actually able to stamp these all myself as well. Shout out to James, who was the one serving me. He was very, very friendly and gave me all four stamps to stamp in and also said that if I return, they keep these stamps to use year after year. So if I do return with my passport, show this, I can actually get the stamps transferred into my passport as well. But I folded this up so that it can act as a extra page in my Lego passport because you can only really fit six stamps without trying to squeeze them in. Whereas it looks like I'll be able to fit nine very comfortably on each side. So that's an extra 18 stamps I can now get in the passport. But I'm so quickly running out of space. We're over halfway through and now we've got even more. I'm gonna have to get some sort of notebook that I can stamp them in instead. And actually, I think I got that idea from Sans who has something similar. But that is the very quick Lego haul. We were honestly in there for about half an hour, if that rummaging through the build a mini figure parts. I do have a few clips, so it might make a future short. Keep an eye out for that. We saw a few of the new sets as well. That Jabba Cell Barge looks absolutely massive, but the focus was on the minifigures. We can actually put the space ones up on the wall behind me. So I'll show them off just before the video is wrapped up. But thank you for making it to the end. And it's time to put the complete space series on. Well, I guess it's not the complete space series, but the complete space minifigures on the wall. This feels almost ceremonial to finally have all the parts that I needed to complete the space series. And now we can have them up on above the door next to all the other parts. I should really get that gingerbread woman fixed. But thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out the others on screen now. And may the bricks be with you always.